everyone, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope everything is good. Thanks for tuning in to today's very special live quiz. Hope you got yourself all ready and sorted and fit to go. Apparently we've got another two weeks of lockdown here in Malaysia, which is no good. But thanks for joining us today. Uh, you're absolutely spot on by the way, Craig. Uh, Adney is super late. Although he is trying to call in now, which means I should be able to uh, pick him up on the old Skype. Let's see if he's answering. Is Sai Radney there? We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I need a drink. That Skype call should come in nicely, if I can see it. Maybe not. But we'll come back to Adney if he's there. But yeah, you're yeah, absolutely spot on. Uh, Adney is super late. Right, six rounds coming your way today. Should be a lot of fun. We, uh, we've got a very special uh, round, one that was sent in by Tim. So one of our fans has written in with uh, five questions. We've got the usual player moves, which is super strong. One of my favorite rounds. Uh, because Adney is here, well, I'm starting to see him on my screen now. So that means, can I get, is he there? Is hey, he Ralph. there? Window cap, is he there? Is he there? Struggling to see him, bro. Hang on, I've got to do. Uh, I'll just wait for a few more people to come in. It's quite cool. Window capture. You see me? Right. Ah, oh, there he is. Look. Oh, you're a big ugly man, aren't you? Hang on, ads. It's got to uh, make you a little bit small. Make you a little bit smaller. There you go. Oh. Right. Now, which means I've got to put these on so I can... Hi, Ads, can you hear me firstly? Yes, can you hear me? Awesome, yes, I can hear you too. Right, just going through all the rounds that we've got coming your way today. Uh, one sent in by Tim, player moves, Liverpool questions, because obviously you're a Liverpool fan. Uh, we've got questions on grounds as well. Um, we've got a picture round and a what happened next. So some video coming your way today. Uh, give us a shout out where you're watching from. We've already got Des, uh, who's watching. Craig, who's watching. Craig took part last week, got 19 out of 30. It was a very honorable effort. And uh, Des, Des, I think, is in the lead at the moment. Ads, how's the lockdown been for you, bro? Well, it's, um, it's been an up and down, isn't it? Because uh, you're just stuck at home every day. But the up, upside of it is um, I have a lot of time to work on my fitness, work on uh, my my weight so uh, I think in the past three four months um, including the MCO I've been doing a lot and then progressing a lot are you playing for a team now then yeah uh, it's in the M3 third division called Ikra Muda so the main goal is to get back to the Super League all right good luck bro right let's get stuck into today's how's your football trivia knowledge bro we'll see you today yeah <laughs> We will see you today. Right, welcome wherever you're watching from around the world. Let's get straight in to round one. So round one, really lucky. We've uh, had the questions sent in by, uh, here we go, by Tim Hudson. If you want to follow him at uh, Timothy the Knowledge. Uh, he sent in the following questions. Now I actually got three out of five when he sent them to me okay so if everybody's ready let's go alan bentley big shout out to you hi big al uh, i got some liverpool questions coming your way thanks for joining us today right question number one of round one is how many consecutive seasons did ryan giggs score in the premier league how many consecutive seasons did ryan giggs score in the premier league Question number two, who was the first player to score a Premier League goal live on TV? I'm just gonna have to mute Adney because he's typing away. Who was the first, Premier, first player to score a Premier League goal live on TV and is also the oldest player to score a Premier League goal? For question number three, I'm gonna give you a little bit longer to answer this, it concerns Terry Butcher, for one point, I want you to name all three of the Scottish teams that he managed. So you have to name all three 
of the Scottish teams that Terry Butcher managed. Gonna give you a countdown. Okay, question number four. Question number four. Again, I'll give, give you a little bit extra longer time to answer this one. Which six teams has Robbie Keane scored for in the Premier League? Name the six teams for one point that Robbie Keane has scored for in the Premier League. Can you name them all? Uh, the second question was, who was the first player to score a Premier League goal live on TV and is also the oldest player to score in a, uh, a Premier League goal? If you need um, any of the questions repeated, then let me know. We've got six rounds coming your way. If you've just joined us, we'll do the answers after each round, okay? Uh, yeah, we've got another two weeks of lockdown here, so that in total will be about, I think, seven or eight? Seven or eight weeks? That's crazy. Right. You've got the six teams that Robbie Keane has scored for. Yeah, six for one point. It's tough, bro. I got three and a half out. I got three out of five. The last question. Sorry, Des. I know. It's tough, bro. The last question for round one is he managed for only 450 minutes of Premier League time. Jose Mourinho called him the worst manager in the history of the Premier League. Who is he? All right, I think it's time for us to get to the answers. Right, let's get to the answers. I'll bring up uh, Adney's audio. Let's get to Adney. You can help me help go through the answers with me. How many consecutive seasons ads did uh, Ryan Giggs score in the Premier League? Uh, well, I think it was uh, his, most of his um, 14 years. 14 years. Uh, ten, no, I've got more than that. <laughs> oh, no, hang on, the answers, by the way, have been sent in by Tim, and he's given me 21. But the more I think about that, the more I think, is that right? Might I double check that? Uh, question two Who was the first player to score a Premier League goal live on TV? The oldest player to score a Premier League goal? Brian Dean. No, the first one live on TV was Teddy Sheringham. Ah. Uh. The three Scottish teams that Terry Butcher has managed. Tough one. Yeah, very tough. Um, just, just guesses here. Uh, Dundee United. Um, is it Livingston? Okay. Um, Aberdeen. No, it was Motherwell, Inverness, Caledonian, and Partick Thistle. Well, at least I the need to beat three teams from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the three teams, uh, sorry, the six teams that Robbie Keane has scored for in the Premier League. Liverpool, Tottenham, um, oh. Struggling. Tottenham. Two in Maroon. You can have had, you could have had West Ham or Aston Villa, and he started off at Coventry and Leeds as well. And finally, uh, he managed for the shortest ever time in the Premier League. It wasn't actually calendar time because that goes to Steve Cockle, but in terms of Premier League playing time, it was 450 minutes. Who was that? No clue. The answer was Frank de Boer. Wow. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. It does. Okay, well done, that's right. Let's get into round two. 
How are you doing everyone on the live stream? Uh, Craig only got one correct. We only got one correct out of Terry Butcher's three. You don't get any points. It's just as simple as that, isn't it? Uh, how many did you get, Ads? How many, how many are you on now? Well, um, you'll have to have a look at that um, Ryan Giggs one. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll get someone to Google that for us, all right? Yeah. Uh, round two, I'm going to show you a list of transfers that a player has made in chronological order. You need to tell me who that player is. Are you ready? Here's your first question. your first one uh, he is a current player by the way this second one is a former player currently not playing anymore but has made some massive massive moves 15 seconds Some big old moves there. Look, guys, I didn't set the questions. That was Tim. Tim sent me the questions. I got three out of five right on the first round, and then you know, it is what it is. All right, give yourself half a point if you got more than if you got two out of three for Terry Butcher, and if you got four out of six for R Robbie Keane, give yourself half a point. That's that's fair, isn't it? Right, we're on to question three of uh, round two. Who is this player? He is a current player. Yeah, quite an easy one, that one. Right, a former player, a bit of a legend. Who is this player? one and the final question he is a current player who is he Right, that's your five for round two. I'll just let Adney catch up. Just a reminder, if you do want to send in your own questions, that would be awesome because it, you know, stops me from having to do it, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, can't wait to get back to the football. Need some football to return. Uh, let me give you a shout out from uh, wherever you're watching from. I think uh, Adney is all caught up now, which means it's time for us to get to the answer. <laughs> How you doing then, Ads? Right, this first one, how did you get on with that? Um, Robin. I am Robin is correct. The answer to number two with those massive moves from Man City and Arsenal to Tottenham. Who was that? Not too sure. Don't have it, bro. It was Emmanuel Adebayor. The current player who uh, was question number three. Keita. Nabi Keita. The legendary player for question four was. Didn't get it. Paul Gascoigne. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Rangers, Lazio. And then finally, uh, the super quick midfielder for the last one is. Oh. I'll give you a clue, bro. You were talking about him because he ran a 1K so quickly. 
Oh, Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley. What was that Instagram post that he posted anyway? Yeah, uh, well, um, he ran one kilometer in three minutes and he did, uh, well, five minutes, 15 minutes in uh, five kilometers in 15 minutes. It's fast, huh? Yeah. Bit faster than you. I'm just going to have to resize you here, just cropping out my uh, Andy pen. Right. Um, how are you doing on points wise, Ads? Well, I think I've got uh, three there. Okay, and then, and then four. add it to you first? Four. So four in total, okay, it's still pretty good. Right, let's get into round three. Round three is questions all about Liverpool. Well done to Alan Bentley, you got five out of five there. Well done to Craig, you got five out of five. Here is round three. <laughs> Lot of buttons to press. Right? <laughs> uh, well done, Dez. Five out of five. Craig, five out of five. Welcome, Peter Manning. I uh, hope you can catch up with some of the questions. Right, it's a uh, round three is all about Liverpool because you, uh, Adding, was born in Liverpool. First question Who is Liverpool's vice captain? Who is Liverpool's vice captain? Question number two, what shirt number does Virgil van Dijk wear for Liverpool? What shirt number does Virgil van Dijk wear for Liverpool? Question number three, against which team did Steven Gerrard make his first team debut for Liverpool? I'll give you four options to make it multiple choice. Was it Blackburn Rovers? Was it Aston Villa, was it Everton, or was it Celta Vigo? Blackburn, Aston Villa, Everton, or Celta Vigo? Question number four, I'm gonna give you a little bit more time to answer this one, because I am after all five, all five of Liverpool's European Cup winning captains. Can you name all five for one point, none of this, of Liverpool's European Cup winning captains? I'm going to give you 15 more seconds on that. And question number five. Which player, which of the following four players has James Milner not shared a match day squad with? Which of these players has he not shared a match day squad with? Jerome Boateng, Mark Viduka, Dieter Hamann, or Emil Heskey? Which player has James Milner not shared a match day squad with? Jer Jerome Boateng, Mark Viduka, Dieter Hamann, or Emil Heskey? Give you 15. All right, all good to go. Uh, Ads, are you ready for the uh, for the answers? Yeah. All right, then I need to press the answer. <laughs> Who is Liverpool's vice captain was question number one, Ads. James Milner. Is correct, James Milner. Number two, what shirt number does VVD wear? Number four. Number four is correct. Against which team did Steven Gerrard make his first team debut for Liverpool? Everton. 
No, it was Blackburn Rovers. Oh, was it? I was thinking about the one he started um, and got the red card against Everton. Mm. Name all five of Liverpool's European Cup winning captains. Uh, Gerard, Douglas. Um, Can't have Douglas, son. No? No. Uh, Phil Thompson? Yeah. Um, oh. Well, one's a current player. Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then two are quite uh, old. <laughs> Sunas. Yep. And um, Emlyn Hughes, no? Bro, yeah, absolutely right. Emlyn Hughes, Phil Thompson, Graham Sunes, Stephen Gerrard and Jordan Henderson. Uh, question five, which player has James Milner not shared a match day squad with? Emil Heskey. Uh, he played for he Heskey at Villa. Oh, really? Yeah, and he played with Boateng and Viduka at Manchester City and Newcastle, respectively. So the answer is Dietmar Hamann. Uh, how many points did you get there, Ad? Oh, one, two, three. Which brings you on to how many? Ten. Ten, nice one. Okay, how are you doing it all at home, everyone? Everyone doing good? How did everybody do in that last round? Are the questions fair, Ads? I mean, are they fair? Yeah, they're all right. They're all <laughs> right, bro. You're getting better every week. <laughs> Can't make them too tricky, you know. Yeah. Uh, right, question, uh, round four is a what happened next round. I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to pause it at the very, you know, key moment. And then you have to explain to me what happened next. So let's get into round four. So you're back, splendid question number five. You got it wrong. Oh, Des got to four out of five. Four and a half, four and a half. Craig, how can you give yourself four and a half? I don't know, how did he get half? How's, he, how's Craig Morris giving himself half a point on that? I don't know. Right, uh, I'm gonna show you a clip. You need to tell me what happened next. Here's the first one. Yep, quite a famous one, that. So you need to tell me what happens next. Question number two, what happens next in this futsal clip? <laughs> What happens next in that futsal clip? Uh, question number three, tell me what happens next, please. And again, we see them there, that little knot of players, and then they fan out once more. There's a bit of a clue in that. There's a bit of a clue in that one. Uh, question number four, what happens next? What happens next there? And uh, don't worry, I will repeat these. And what happens next in the fifth question? Good ones, eh? Hey? Some good ones. Right, just very quickly, I'll just... They don't take <laughs> Here's question. Three. Again, we see them there, that little knot of players, and then they fan out once more. Here's question four. And here is question... Well, I'll be honest, if I've got any rights issues there, I really apologise. You know, it's just, just for fun, like. Uh, let's wait for Adney to catch up. How's everybody doing at home? I hope that was a good round.
four yet. Uh, Ads, are you all ready? Can I can we go through the answers now? Yeah. Okay, here are the answers for round <laughs> Right, I asked you what happened in next in the first one. What do you think happened between uh, Sunderland and Liverpool ads? Well, uh, Sunderland get the ball at the edge of the box, shot, hits the balloon, and goal. You get, hang on, you get, hang on, let's be specific here. You say balloon? Yeah, or ball, a ball, a massive ball. A massive ball, you mean some, somewhat like a beach ball? It looks like a, uh, a big gym ball. Okay, let's have a look. was a beach ball, well done, correct. Uh, number two, what happens at, at, in the futsal court? Well, I think, um, you know, it's like two players are trying to take a swing at a ball at the same time. And, uh, so it's either they both get the ball at the same time and they go both, both go flying, or um, I think uh, the player with the ball beats the player, but the defender completely misses the swing and lands on his butt. Okay, let's have a look. See the ball exploded there. Ah, uh, so I got nearly, nearly correct. Nearly correct. Right for number three, with uh, the ball being put into the, to the part into the eighteen-yard box. Um. Need to see that again. Yeah, I can show you that again, hang on. Again, we see them there, the little knot of players, and then they fan out once more. <laughs> Craig's saying, you can't have balloon. I think he said big ball. I tried to you know, get him. Yeah, I did say big ball. Uh, anyway, that was question number three, as You can see it up in your screen. Oh, is, that the, is that the one where all the... Yeah, this is it. I think... Um... Uh, the player gets a headbutt in the crotch. A headbutt in the crotch. That's what we're going with. Okay, let's have a look at the answer. And again, we see them there, that little knot of players, and then they fan out once more. There's a dog on the pitch at the moment, and almost to the point where the old chap was there to kick the ball off the line, and the referee's got to do something about that. Well, he's looking for a bit of affection, but the fans just want him away. Lol, there's a dog on the pitch, Ads. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you have, have to you... go a bit further after that. Have you, have you ever um, had a dog on the pitch when you're, you've been playing? No, I think a cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. And then uh, question number five, what happened next in that game? Goalkeeper throws the ball in his own net. Oh, sorry, that's question, yeah, we're on question four. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Yeah, uh, yeah let's have a look. Lol. Absolutely correct. Well done. Adney, have you ever done anything uh, as stupid as that? No. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not as stupid as that. Okay, and then the answer to number five. It looked, looked to be Arsenal against Manchester United, but what happened next, Ads? 
Well, I don't know. Um, I'm guessing a streaker comes on. Really? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Ryan Giggs. It was Ryan Giggs. Yes. Yes, ads. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, one of the great FA Cup goals. How many points did you get? In, how many answers correct did you get, Ads? Um, one. Do I get half of the, the ball bursting? No, I'll give, give you the beach ball. The, no, ball, the ball burst. No, I, you can know. What, what for? Because they <laughs> swung at the same time and I got it correct. Well, because that's why I showed you they were swinging at the same time. You can have another point for the keeper throwing into the own net as well. None, three. Two. So how many have you got in total? Twelve. Twelve. Very good. Let's get into round five. Right, round five is a quick one. It's all about grounds in the UK. Football grounds in the UK. First question, who plays at the Riverside Stadium? Who plays at the Riverside Stadium? That seemed to be a good round, that last one. So Craig got three out of five. Des got three out of five. But Craig is asking you, Ads, how did you not get the greatest FA Cup goal of all time. Am I? You're not going to what? I'm not going to remember Manchester United scoring. That's not going to be in my head all till the end of time. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. Uh, question number two. Where do Brighton and Hove Albion play football? Question number three. In the championship, who plays at the John Smith Stadium? Who plays at the John Smith's Stadium? Question number four. Who plays at Vicarage Road? Who plays at Vicarage Road? And question number five, where do Swindon play football? Where does Swindon play? Right, let's get to the answer. Some sort of tough and easy ones there. Uh, ads, who plays at the Riverside Stadium? What's question one? I have been there, and it's M Middlesbrough. Why did you go? Uh, well, I had some football trials for Darlington back in the day. Oh, yeah? How'd you go? Well, I went back in Malaysia. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you go in the trials? Well, it was, it was, a, it was a great experience, you know? Um, you learn a lot in the short time, but, you know, eventually... It's a way. Um, it's a. It's a level way too far to go. Uh, question two was where do Brighton and Hove Albion play? The American Express Stadium. Yeah. American Express Community Stadium. In the Championship, who plays at John Smith Stadium? That would be. For someone else to answer. The answer is Huddersfield Town. Who plays at Vicarage Road was question number four. Oh, Vicarage Road. Watford? Yes, Watford. Well done. And then where do Swindon Town play football? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's named after a dog, isn't it? Yeah. I've only heard of this, but... Uh, Oh, 
It's okay. Greyhound uh, or something. They play at, no, I'm lucky. They play at the county ground. My, my, <laughs> nothing to do with a dog. Sorry, bro. It just, <laughs> just made me laugh. County ground. Right, round six. I'm going to show you some pictures. I messed them up. Who are they? Right, round six looks like this. Can you name this? Uh, I'll give you a clue, they're all managers. That's question number one. Question number two. Question number three. Question number four. Well done to uh, Pete Manning, who got four out of five in the last round, Pete, was that? Well, that's the ground one. Hey, well done, bro. You're, you're improving. Uh, question number five, who is this manager? Give Adney a little bit of time to catch up. He's about 20 seconds behind, <laughs> usually in life. Um, all right, big bye to Des Corkill. Thank you for watching. Thanks for playing along. Um, yep, yeah, you're all good. Okay, let's get to. Uh, I've got to press my answer screen. <laughs> Okay, ads, let's bring your volume up. Uh, who was the answer to the first question, bro? Uh, Daniel Fark. Daniel Fark, there you go, yeah, absolutely spot on. The answer to question two. Um, uh, look, I forgot his name, Smith. Looks Dean. like a villa manager, is it? Yes, yeah, Dean Smith, the Aston Villa yeah, manager. Yeah. And then the answer to question three. Solskjaer. Was already got it. Solskjaer, yep, correct. And the answer to question number four. Sean Dyche. Was Sean Dyche, yeah. And then to question number five. Steve Bruce. It's Steve Bruce. Well done. Ads. Uh, count up how many you got. That's 17. 17, bro, is a very respectable score on debut. I'm very proud Not too of bad, you. Eh? Not too bad at all. It was very good. Um, yeah, thanks for playing, bro. No worries. Good fun. Good fun. Uh, if if uh, you have any questions at home that you want to submit, and you know, give me five questions, and I, you can have your own round. Do we find out if Ryan Giggs did 21 seasons in the Premier League? I think it was uh, 14. No, bro. It was more than that. Really? Oh. Maybe just for Man United, isn't it? 14. He was. Oh my god, yeah. it's 14, huh? Oh. Okay. Points. Yeah. That's annoying, because Tim's got it wrong, Tim. 
Okay, the answer to question one was 14 years. All right. Uh, anyway, thanks for playing, everyone. Great to have your company again today. How did everybody do at home? Craig got 22 out of 30. Oh, he's saying that Giggs missed a goal in his final season. We'll, we'll confirm all that last week, but I'm going to have a go at Tim for providing some duff information. Uh, well done to everybody that took part. Thanks very much. Ads, see you later, bro. All right. Take care. Bye. Let's mute him off. Uh, again, yeah, if you, thanks for watching wherever you are around the world. I hope the countdown, uh, the lockdown, countdown, the lockdown is all right for you and you're struggling through. If you've got any other ideas then, uh, for the quiz or, or whatever, then uh, let me know. Nice to see you. All right. Thanks for your company. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.